What the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just call me a boy with that thing. Hold up and watch that bitch in. Hey, shout out what's Sleep TV, man. What's Sleep TV? I ain't no sleep, motherfucker. You know, uh, Quando Rondo recently. He buzzed him too, man. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. He recently. Nah, he a crip. He a crip. He ain't Muslim. Crips can be Muslim. I mean, I know. I, I didn't know. I didn't say that. But I'm just saying that, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just saying, nigga, crip. Like, that's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. You know, he recently got locked up. Yeah, did you know that? Again? Yeah, nigga. Bro, he get locked up every. No, every well, he got really, like, indicted. Oh, he got some indicted. Serious shit. Like, oh, okay. I, I know. I don't want to say like yeah. legal charges, but yeah, he, he's on oh, some serious shit right now. That's unfortunate. But, all jokes aside, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. But he took to his story and he said to all the young dudes in the streets playing, to all the young dudes in the streets playing basketball, it's cool. And I guess that's pretty much his way of saying like, hey, the streets ain't cool. I guess because you know he in some real trouble now. I think that. The thing is with, with niggas, is it's like they always want to be like inspirational when they go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have said that in free Quando Rondo. But the thing is, it's like, bro, you could have been on that positive wave. Like, you know the best way to lead is not by Instagram posts, it's by example. You could have changed your life a long time ago. Like you got money, you're a successful artist. I know there's a section of the internet that doesn't you know you know like you or whatever but there you still get thousands and thousands of views every single video that you drop you have the resources to change your ways and the thing is is like if you change your ways and then show people like how you how you change that is more important than sending us a message on instagram talking about man the streets ain't cool Bro, you could have been said that. Like, why did you? And I and I'm, I feel like his heart is in the right place, but I think you should have did that before, and then people would gravitate more than that. Don't wait till it's too late to make a difference. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm a big believer in that. Like, why don't you just be? Why don't you be the influence? Like right now, now you, you know, you're possibly going to be in jail for a considerable amount of time. Now you, you, I mean you're, I mean you stopped. Like when you in jail, you can't do nothing. Like when you in jail, you would have been more beneficial if you had changed your life before that. You had the oppor you had opportunity. That ain't, that ain't his first time being in jail or any legal trouble. He be he be in trouble all the time, and I don't mean that in a funny way. But it's just like you could have been got away from that. It's dudes that don't have the same opportunity as you. They don't have a choice but to continue to be in the bullshit. You being rich and a successful artist. You've had, bro. You can go. You can be. You could be like Kanye, move to like Wyoming or something like that, and get away from all the bullshit. And you never have to do none of this bullshit ever again. But you chose to do it, and I just don't like when 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 niggas say shit like that when they get jammed, and then like when they get out of the jam, then it's just like they go back to bullshit. Kind of like R. Kelly, like R. Kelly about to go to jail in like 2004 for you know peeing on it, peeing on that little girl and shit like that, right? This thing going. This nigga, this nigga, like, before the trial started going to drop a whole gospel album, right? He was fired, too. Don't get me wrong. That day, it was fired. Don't get me wrong. Like, bro, he he was going in on them. If you, if you, you was probably too young for this. But, like, if you listen to them gospel albums that R. Kelly made, they was hard. They was better than anything Kirk Franklin ever did, my nigga. But as soon as he got, as soon as he got out of that, uh, got out of that jam, whatever, nah, he was, he was back, he was back on his bullshit. He's, he's right back on that bullshit. So, like, my thing is, is I just don't like when niggas get jammed and then they, they want to be, like, Martin Luther King or some shit. Get out the streets! Like, bro, you could have been said that, bro. Yeah. That's why, that's why, like, I mess with people, like, um, like, like, Dirk be telling kids, like, don't be doing shit like that. I feel like the Dirk's changed his image at least to a certain extent, especially like with his music, like the song he did with J. Cole, like he been saying that. He wasn't about to go to jail or anything like that. At least I don't think so. Like be the influence bef before without you being in trouble. That's, that's all I'm saying about it.